My name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 92. Today we'll have our division quiz, the fifth one in a series of five. This is our last division quiz. We will no longer have any division quiz because we are approaching, we are almost approaching the end of our first series, day 100. We're starting from day number 101. We will no longer be doing easy problems. So we'll, be, we'll move on to the medium and then finally the hard problems from to day 201 through 300. It's going to be, hopefully, that's, that's, my, that's the goal plan. But anyway, once we begin to move into the second stage, level 2 problems, then of course in a level 2 problem it will be a damn silly thing to stand there and do the division problems. This is the end of it. This is the last one today. What I want you to do is pause the video and do these problems yourself. There are going to be 10 of them. Five of them, five of them are already on the blackboard. Pause the video, do them yourself. Here's the first one. 10,025 divided by 25, 7,091 divided by 7, 46,543 divided by 11, 34,294 divided by 3, and finally 34,264 divided by 4. I'll give you 5 seconds to be able for, for you to be able to pause and unpause the video. Okay, let's get going. 10,000. 25 divided by 25. How do we go about it? Well, it's very simple. It's very simple. We have done this many a times. We do one digit at a time. How many 25 does one have? One has one has no 25. That one goes and joins to 0 becomes a 10. How many 25 does 10 have? 10 has no 25. So that 10 goes and joins to 0 becomes 100. Now it becomes 100. How many 25 does 100 have? 100 has four 25s. 100 has 4 25s. Let's move on to 2 now. How many 25 does 2 have? 2 has no 25s. 2 has no 25s. That 2 goes and joins the 5 and becomes 25. And how many 25s does 25 have? 25 has 125. And these 3 digits should have been crossed out together. Together. Because we're not dividing 1 or, or 10. We took all 3 of them together as you can see. These 3 digits. 100 has 4 25s. And 25 has 125. That's it. That's your answer. 401 is our answer. And if you want, you can take a couple of seconds to verify your answer. It's very simple. Verify your answer if you like. It will only take two seconds, as I said. 25 times 1 is 25. So it's 5 carry 2. 25 times 0 is 0. Times 2 plus 2 is just 2, of course. That's what it is. And 4 times 25 is 100. There you go. 10,025 divided by 25 is 401. Let's do the next one. 7,091 divided by 7. 7,091 divided by 7. Of course, they cannot possibly be that bad because had, they, had these numbers been very nasty, they would not appear on the exams. The people who give you these exams, whether you're preparing for ACT or SAT or TEs or GMAT or GRE, I'm breaking into a sermon, I understand that. I realize that I'm breaking into a sermon. But what I'm trying to make you understand is that the people who write the exams, the people who give you these exams, these people are not insane people. They are very reasonable people. A lot of thought, a lot of care goes into crafting these problems that appear on the exam. They're just trying to see if you understand the concept. They're not trying to see if you are a working robot. That is not the point here. How many 7 does 7 have? 7 has 1 7. 7 has 1 7. How many 7 does 0 have? 0 has no 7. 0 has no 7. How many 7 does 9 have? 9 has 1 7. 9 has 1 7. The remaining 2 goes and joins the 1 becomes 21 and 21 has Three sevens. That's it. The answer is 1013. And again, if you like, we can actually multiply 1013 by 7 to verify our answer. 7 threes are 21. Carry 2. 7 minus 7 plus 2 is 9. 7 times 0 is 0. And 7 times 1 is 7. Voila. 7091 is what we started out with. Just do one more. 46,000. 46,543. I've changed my mind. We're going to do it on the top. It's getting too low. Forty-six thousand, forty-six thousand, five hundred and forty-three divided by eleven. You should do it yourself first. It's not that bad. How many eleven does four have? Four has no elevens. Four has no elevens. That four goes and joins the six becomes forty-six. Forty-six has four elevens. Forty-six has four elevens. Four elevens are forty-four. After you take away forty-four from the forty-six, we have two remainder. The remaining two goes to, goes to five and becomes twenty-five. 25 has how many 11s? 25 has two 11s. 
25 has two 11s, two 11s are 22. The remaining three goes and joins the four and becomes 34. 34 has three 11s. 34 has three 11s. Three 11s are 33. Three 11s are 33. Three levels of 33, we had a 34 here, so we have a remainder of 1. That one goes and joins the 3 and becomes 13. How many 11 does 13 have? 13 has, 13 has 1 11. We have used up 11 out of 13, we have a remainder of 2. That 2 needs to be divided by 11. The final answer is, the final answer is 46,543 divided by 11 equals 4,231 and 2 11. Let's verify that answer, shall we? Let's verify that answer, if you like. Let's do it here. The verification. 4,231, and we're going to divide it, we're going to multiply it by 11. Are you ready? 11 times 1 is 11. 1, carry 1. 11 times 3 is 33. 33 plus 1 is 34. 4, carry 3. 11 times 2 is 22. 22 plus 3 is, 22 plus 3 is 25. 5, 25 because this is 0 and then 11 times 4 is 44 something has gone wrong something has gone wrong or something has not gone wrong something has not gone wrong I'm not reading it properly I'm not reading it properly it was for this number right here 46,000 it was 46,000 did I make a mistake did I make a mistake I was being too cocky 4, 2, 3, 1, 4, 2, 3, 1. What the hell is 4? Is 4, 2, 3, 1. I don't know what the hell this is. I am so careless. This answer is 4,231. 4,231 times 11. Let's start again. 11 times 1 is 11. Carry 1. 11 times 3 is 33. 33 plus 1 is 34. Carry 3. 11 times 2 is 22, plus 3 is 25, 5, carry 2, 11 times 4, 11 times 4 is 44, 44 plus 2 is 46, 46,541, but we had 46,543, we have 46,543, here we're getting a 1, where is the 2, where is the other 2, well other 2 is your remainder right here, plus the 2, the 2 was the remainder, remember we had a remainder of 2, so is by the time you add 2 to it, we end up with 46,543, which is exactly what we have here. Let's do the next one, shall we? The next one here. 34,294. Right, we need the room, obviously. Thirty-four thousand two hundred and ninety-four. Is that number? Is that number even divisible by four? Three, I wonder if it's even, even is it going to be evenly divisible by three? How do we know? How do we know if a given number is divisible by three or not? Well, we learned that long time ago on several different occasions that if the sum of the digits, if the sum 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 of the digits is divisible by three, then the number itself is divisible by three. That's the theory. That is the theory. But in practice, we can look at individual digits and see if there is any digits that is divisible by 3. For example, 3 is divisible by 3, that plays no role. 9 is divisible by 3, that plays no role. 2 plus, 2 plus 4 is 6, so those two digits are going to be divisible by 3 because they add up to 6. There's a 4 remainder here, which means that if we were to divide 4 by 3, we're going to have a remainder of 1. When we finish dividing this number by 3, we will have a remainder of 1, which is being divided by 3, which means our final answer is going to be whatever the answer is, plus a third. Let's do it, shall we? Let's do it. 34,294 divided by 3. How many 3 does 3 have? 3 has 1 3. How many 3 does 4 has? 4 has 1 3. The remaining one goes, it joins the 2, becomes 12. 12 has 4 3's. 3 has 3 3's. 4 has 1 3 with the remainder of 1 and a third. There you go. 1 given divided by third, which is exactly what we said. The final answer is 11,431. And if you like, we can verify that. 11,000 four hundred and thirty one times three you get a three you get a nine twelve carry one three plus one is four and three thirty four thousand two hundred and ninety three plus one will give us thirty four thousand two hundred and ninety four let's do the next one let's do the next one Uh, 
34,000 34,264 divided by 4 I have changed my mind this is not going to be the 505 let's just call it quiz number 5 and we're going to do a few more we're going to probably have 10 of them I, ch I just changed my mind because I have 10 problems here and if I were to do all 10 of them in one video it will bore the pens off you we're just going to do 5 this is our last one before we actually start this problem, is, it, is this number even divisible by 4? 34,264, is it even divisible by 4? How do we know if a number is divisible by 4? Well, we learned it a long time ago that to tell whether or not a given number is divisible by 4, all we have to do is to look at the last two digits of the number. Not the sum of the two digits, two digits but the last two digits. last two digits here are 64. Because 64 is divisible by 4, therefore, this number is going to be evenly divisible by 4. We'll find it, we'll find it out in a second. Let's do it, shall we? Let's put it together. How many 4 does 3 have? 3 has no 4s. 3 has no 4s. That 3 goes and joins the 4 becomes 34. How many 4 does 34 have? 34 has uh, 34, 28 plus 4 is 32. 28 is 7, so 8 7s, 8 4s are 32. 8 4s are 32. 8 4s are 32, the remaining 2 goes and joins the 2 becomes 22. How many 4s does 22 have? 22 has 5 4s. 5 4s are 20, the remaining 2 goes and joins the 6 becomes 26. How many 4s does 26 have? 26 is going to have 6 4s. 6 4s are 24, 6 4s are 24. The remaining 2 from the 26 goes and joins the 4 becomes 24 again and 24 is going to have 6 4s one more time. What we're doing here is no different than the long division. That's exactly what the process is. The only difference is that we're doing it mentally. And when you're doing it mentally, it is vital, it is crucial, it is essential, it is paramount that you pay attention, that your concentration does not lapse. You have to keep track of how many times it goes and you have to keep track of what the remainder is and the remainder has to go and join the next digit and so on and so forth. But the process is exactly the same process as the long division. That's what this is. It's long division, but the grown-up method, not the baby method. Do you understand? Let's verify this answer, shall we? 8,566 times 4 better give us what we started out with. 6 4s are 24, 4 carry 2. 6 4s are 24 plus 2 is 6 4s are 24 plus 2. That, that's the 2, I don't know if you can read it. That's the 2. 6 4s are 24 plus 2 is 26. 6 carry 2. 5 4s are 20, 20 plus 2 is 22. 2 carry 2. 8 4s are 32 plus 2 is 34. We end up with 34,264, which is what we started out with. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.